Okay, so now we will solve this uh, next problem. What is the truth value for all x uh, px where px is the statement x square greater less than x square less than 10. So let me write what is the uh, px here. So px is the statement x square less than 10. Okay, and what is the universe of discourse and the universe of discourse D, I will say the universe of discourse consists of all positive integers not exceeding 4. So the integers should not be greater than 4. So D is positive integers not exceeding 4. Now what are the positive integers? Positive integers start from 1, 2, 3. But they should not be greater than 4 okay means the positive integers not exceeding 4 means they should not be greater than 4 okay so d is containing all elements 1 2 3 4 so x belongs to this d right the this is our domain right here x belongs to d means that is x can be how much x can be 1 x can be 2 x can be 3 and x can be 4 okay now what we want to check we want to check which quantification we want to check whether it is true or not we want to check for all x px we to check for all x px this is what we want to check that is we want to check for all x belonging to d what is D? D is this set 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, this we want to check for all x belong to D. Px is true or not. This is what we want to check. Okay, so let me go to the next page. So for all x belonging to D to check. For all x belonging to D, D is the set 1, 2, 3, 4. Px, what was Px? Px was x square less than 10. x square less than 10. This is what we want to check. Okay. So put x equal to 1. If x is equal to 1, then 1 square is less than 10. This is correct. So this is true. Put x equal to 2, put x equal to 3, and put x equal to 4. So we'll have 2 square is also less than 10. This is true. 3 square is also 9, which is less than 10. This is also true. And 4 square is not less than 10 because 16 is not less than 10. This is false. So for x equal to 4, this particular statement is what? This particular statement is false right therefore for x equal to 4 the above quantification is false because if you want the universal quantification if you want to be true then it should be true for all the values you hear what is happening it is true for three values but for the fourth one it is what it is false right so if you look at this particular problem now, five, what is the truth value of there exist x px, where px is the statement x square uh, greater than 10. Okay, where the universe of discourse is again the same. It consists of all positive integers not exceeding 4. So here, what is your uh, statement px? Here px is x square greater than 10. Okay. And uh, what is the universe of discourse? Universe of disc. What is the domain? All positive integers not greater than four means one, two, three, four are allowed. Okay, five onwards are not allowed, right? So these are all numbers which are less than, uh, which are not more than four. Means four can come. Okay. So this is the discourse. So what we want to check? We want to check which quantification? We want to check the quantification. There exists x p x means. 
means we want to check what we want to check there exists x belonging to the domain who is the domain 1 2 3 4 such that x square is greater than 10 means we want to find at least one okay to find at least there exists means what to find at least one element in d such that x square is greater than 10. 10. Can you find at least one number whose square is larger than 10? Clearly, who is the number which is having the square larger than 10? That number is x is equal to 4 will work, right? Because uh, because x square means 4 square is certainly what? Certainly less, certainly greater than 10. For existential quantifier remember whenever you have there exists you must be able to find at least one not necessarily all will satisfy see for example one square is not greater than 10 two square is also not greater than 10 and three square is also not greater than 10 but four square is greater than 10 so you could find at least one person which satisfies this particular quantification and so that ex that is because of why because we want to find the find whether existential quantification is true or not and therefore there exists xpx is what a true quantification there exists xpx which is x square greater than true now which is x square greater than 10 is a true quantification okay